What's up guys, Shehbaz here. So the exciting Samsung Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Ultra legs, better satellite connection and brighter display than the Apple iPhone 14 Pro. And again, we have new bits of information about the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra for you. Samsung apparently not only wants to do the same as Apple and Huawei, but also uses the satellite connection of the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 flagships for more everyday purposes. We hear from South Korea with the AMOLED display. The Galaxy S23 Ultra should trump the brightness of its predecessors and that of the iPhone competition, according to Leaks. The new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra should not only offer record brightness levels on the display, but also a better satellite connection than Apple's iPhone 14 line. And again, exciting details about Samsung's Galaxy S22 successors, which are expected in January or February 2023, have become known. Let's start right away with the top message of the last few hours. According to the South Korean industry general ET News, Samsung is apparently joining Huawei and Apple in the ring for the satellite connection of their smartphone flagships. In contrast to Apple, which relies on their partner Global Star, and Huawei, which has so far only broadcast using Beidou satellites. According to the report, Samsung is set to rely on the 66 Iridium communication satellite circling in low orbit. Apparently, the service is not only planned as an emergency call feature, as is the case with the Apple, but also as a widely available communication service in which text messages and low-resolution images can be sent via satellite with a mobile network. The biggest challenge here was the miniaturization of the RF antenna. So work on the satellite connection for the next flagship generation had already been going on for two years. In view of the competition from Huawei and Apple, it can be assumed that the Galaxy S23 line will still have this feature in 2023, according to ET News. But possibly, as with Apple in the form of an update, fan of very bright display should also like the Galaxy S23 Ultra in particular, at least according to the Twitter user RG Clouds. He writes that Samsung's new AMOLED panel can apparently achieve peak brightness levels of up to 2200 nits and beyond, with an average maximum brightness of 2150 nits to be expected. According to the leaker, the display can even be overclocked to 2500 nits. The PMW frequency, pulse width modulization, is around 2000 hertz. Will Samsung be able to win back the title of brightest smartphone display? from Apple's iPhone 14 Pro, not if you include the average picture level, writes display expert Dallin Draga on Twitter. Samsung measures APL at 1%, Apple at 25%, and at 1% the iPhone 14 Pro also makes achieve 2300 nits. Neither the report on the satellite connection nor the information on the display brightness has been officially confirmed by Samsung. That's it for now. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Science and Knowledge. Until the next video, take care of yourself very well. Peace out.